Every single dog rescued from April McLaughlin's home now resting in their new homes. It is a very emotional day. 55 dogs were seized from her home last year. And on Tuesday, the Arizona Humane Society telling us the last five of those dogs are now off to California to be with their new owners. So to see them actually now recovered, um, wanting to, to interact, their coats look bright and shiny, they are happy dogs. Following this update, we reached out to the South Texas Animal Rescue who sparked our initial investigation into McLaughlin last summer. It's um, Finally, you know, a, a happy ending, the ending we're all hoping for. Back then, Rebecca Artis Mendy was looking to get an update on a dog called Butters, one of the many McLaughlin had in her Chandler home. Butters is now in her care in Texas, where she sent us this video of him thriving. We are still dealing with the after effects of what he dealt with there, you know, with April in her house. He still has, you know, some infections that he's trying to, to de overcome and we're still having to take him to the vet and get checked out. This case sparked change across areas in the valley. Over in Chandler, they had to update their city ordinance to allow police to act quicker in animal cruelty cases, something that was a huge criticism in this case. But state lawmakers are looking to take it a step further by introducing Senate Bill 1047, which will highlight areas of animal cruelty. Inside the bill, the Arizona Humane Society helped write, it lists the pet owners must provide proper medical attention, have proper food and water fit for consumption, and provide a safe shelter for their animals. It will help us in many ways to move quickly, and it'll help ensure that animals are protected um, in, in Arizona. I'm excited and I'm happy that their legislators have realized that there was a problem and that it needed to be addressed. This proposed bill still has to go through the state Senate and the House before it becomes law. As for April, she is set back in Maricopa County Superior Court tomorrow morning where she faces eight felony charges. Now, this is different from the Chandler charges she faces, and she'll be back in court for those 77 misdemeanors later this month. In the newsroom, I'm Steven Sarabia for Arizona's Family.